Hi, this is Amber from the Happy Caravan. And I'm a mom of 10 kids and we live in New York City. Today I'm talking about Christmas presents. How do we afford Christmas presents for all 10 of our kids? The answer is we don't. <laughs> so we actually don't buy Christmas presents for all 10 of our kids. Back when we had maybe seven kids, we started doing a gift exchange. And originally the gift exchange was supposed to be Originally, it was like a, a brown paper bag and we put all the kids' names in it and then all the kids like had a person that they drew out of the bag and then they were supposed to give a gift to that person. But that didn't work out very well at first because people didn't want to necessarily give a gift to the person that they got out of the bag. They wanted to like pick their own person. And so since then, we've just let everyone kind of pick a person back and forth to mutually give a gift to. And it's since then, it's been like the same person every year. So Elijah likes to give a gift to Noah. Noah likes to give a gift to Elijah back and forth. Um, Pearl and Naomi exchange gifts. Um, I'll try and put a picture so you can see the different age groups. So I have an age range of age 20 down to age one. So he's actually the fifth. My youngest is Moses and he's 15 months old. So that's the huge age range we have. And ironically, nobody wants to pick Josiah because he always wants clothes and my kids don't want to buy clothes for each other. So um, he's the oddball out. So what happens is the baby is the gift exchanger with Josiah and Josiah gives a present to the baby and then the baby, who is actually us, gives a present to Josiah. And that's how our gift exchange situation works out. And then we're off the hook from spending, you know, thousands of dollars on kids. And here's the thing. I mean, I love Christmas. I like the idea of it, but I mean, in the olden days, like if you got a candy cane and a card, like that was great, like in the 1800s. It wasn't until more recently that Christmas became this huge, like, I don't know, holiday where you had to spend thousands of dollars on all the people you're giving gifts to. I try and stay away from that. So here's my, it was what I tell the kids. So kids get spending money throughout the year. They play music and so forth. And a lot of that music does go to music lessons. Some of our music lessons in the past have been $200 a piece per kid. Thankfully here, they're a little less expensive. Like they range from 100 to $150. Um, and then we pay less for piano lessons, thankfully. But those are our string instrument lessons. They're very expensive. Some of the kids um, that go to Juilliard, they have a scholarship. So that's less expensive. But so anyway, so there's a lot, of, obviously a lot of money's going to that. But then the kids also get spending money. And I just tell them, okay, save up your spending money. I want you to spend $50 on whoever you're supposed to give a gift to. So like one person is supposed to give a $50 gift to the other person and vice versa. The kids don't stick to that. They end up spending, you know, $100, $200 on Lego sets, which is crazy. I'm, I'm amazed that plastic can cost that much. I'm like, Tupperware doesn't cost that much. Anyway, yeah, plastic costs costs a lot especially lego plastic so they exchange gifts with each other enoch and melody they don't do a lot of musical gigs and so forth so they don't have a lot of spending money so we just we kind of like cover for them so technically we're buying gifts for three kids but then again I, i'm like i am the sort of person that even if i had like billions of dollars i probably wouldn't i would i would probably okay i would spend a lot of money on the kids i would i mean if i had billions of, or millions of dollars to spend i i would spend it but I wouldn't spend it on like a lot of stuff like that I'd have to deal with because I'm sort of a minimalist. I think as a, a, a big family, you kind of have to be minimalist because it used to be in the olden days, like my mom would get the kids presents and we would get the kids presents and other people. And there was just like on Christmas, like when you, I think back when we had like seven kids, that was the, the crisis point. I was like, there is stuff everywhere. Like we couldn't even walk in our house. So I was like, okay, mom, please don't get them a bunch of stuff. Vice versa with the kids. Don't, don't, don't aim for quantity, aim for quality. <laughs> so, I mean, if I had a ton of money, I would probably buy the kids really nice computers, you know, upgrade their instruments really nice, probably get them some really nice software for their computers, maybe upgrade their phone, stuff like that. I mean, I would, I would definitely like go big without going big, like without having a bunch of stuff to tri trip over. Um, so yeah, it's not like I wouldn't spend a lot of money if I had a lot of money to spend, but I don't know. 
I wouldn't, I would try not to spend it on stuff I'd have to trip over. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So anyway, I've also, I figured, um, it's kind of fun to do unboxings. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought recently. Some of it is Christmas presents. Some of it's the, um, Enoch and Melody Christmas present exchange. Enoch is five and Melody is four. Oh, she's almost four. Oh. She's three, but she's almost four. So Melody's almost four, and she is exchanging with Enoch. And so Enoch and Melody are spending a little bit of their money on each other just so we can say they did it, but it's mostly us that bought it. And then um, I also got some clothes for baby Moses because he grew out of all of his baby clothes. He's still wearing 12-month clothes, and he's, like, almost 15 months old. So we definitely need to upgrade those. So I got some of those. The place that I got a lot of the clothes from was a place called Bowdoin. Now Bowdoin is a British company. I really like their style and colors and quality. I love being able to pass down garments from one kid to another because I just, I hate throwing things away. And with Bowdoin, I feel like I can keep it a little longer, but Bowdoin can be very expensive. So I wait, like for a lot of these things, I got them 40% off, I think up to 60% off. After, now when I left to buy wooden clothes, but I can't do this obviously for Christmas, is after the season. So like beginning of January, um, their their winter stuff sells really well. And you, a lot of times they say winter, but you can use it for summer as long as it's not like, you know, thick corduroy or something. So you can't, it's like, anyway, I love their like sales. I, sometimes it's up to 70% off. So that's when I do most of my shopping if I can. This stuff was mostly in the 40 to 60% off range, but I'm gonna show you what I got. And um, if I can think of anything else about our Christmas extravaganza, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so my first box. I've been waiting to unbox this stuff because I just haven't had a chance, a moment. So the first box is, let's do this big box. Let's see. So here's my box. I'm gonna open it like this so you can see what's in here. And here it is. There's my receipt. So this is, um, I got some stuff for Melody because she is turning four on the 20, oh my goodness, I'm a bad mom. She's turning four on the 30th of December. So she was, she's, her Christ, Christmas and birthday kind of gets mixed together. Poor thing, but, but you know how it is. Okay, so this is for Melody. There's a little sweater. If Bowdoin puts everything in plastic. <laughs> so, there you go. That's so cute. <laughs> I love colors. So that's for Melody. This is also for Melody. I think this is a thing that, that Enoch picked out for Melody. We, we did some online shopping together. So here's a little sweater and it has zebra arms and zebra hairs, oh, colorful zebra hairs. So this is something, this is a little shirt. This is for Enoch. Oh wow, it's super warm, that's great. Okay, so this is a um, button up shirt for Enoch. He's, um, he's six, I hope I said that, I don't know. I probably said he was five, sorry. Right. It's a blur, yeah, he's six. <laughs> So on the inside, it has this kind of fleecy stuff, but on the outside, it's a it's a shirt. So it could probably almost be like a warm shirt slash jacket if you wanted it to be. So that's what Melody got for Enoch. And so because everything was such a good deal, they, um, they only had one color of shirt for Enoch. It was like such a good deal. Like you couldn't beat it, you know? So I got him this purple shirt and then I got him another purple shirt because all they had was that color. <laughs> I don't know. And then this is, this is for Moses. So this is not a Christmas present. It's just a survival present. So this is Moses. There's some little overalls for him. How cute is that? This is for Malady. So I'm not sure if I got this for Melody or if this is something Enoch got for Melody. Let's see. Here, let's do this. Oh, little like so they're little leggings. 
can go under a dress. Just keep things modest, you know? Um, oh, here we go. There's some more leggings. These are for Melody. Ta-da! Little flowers. Those are so cute. Oh, and this is for Moses. <laughs> I have a thing for overalls <laughs> on little boys. Oh, little snowmen. It's not gonna be Christmas when he's wearing them, but it'll be winter. We have still to get our fir official first snow in New York City, so. I mean, we've had a little bit, but not like, you know, not and nothing that actually stays on the ground. So here, this is for Moses too. I think it's like a little, Oh yeah, it's a little outfit. So here's the little um, onesie that goes with it. And here is the, the overalls that go with it. I like overalls. And this is for Malady. I can't remember, I think this is for Christmas dress, yes. I think this is something that Enoch got for her for Christmas. He was picking it online with me. See, it has a little embroidery. And these little see-through sleeves. Oh, so beautiful. And then kind of swishy tool. And then this is probably, probably Enoch's jeans. Let's see. It's even hard to open. Man. Yeah, these are little jeans. And that's so cute how they tie them up. See if I can get them. So these jeans last a long time and Enoch is really hard on his clothes. Yeah, so those are six years. So those should those should fit him. He's kind of skinny, but sometimes, yeah, see, these have these little elastic things that hold them like tighter to their body. Um, let's see. Some more jeans. That kid needs jeans. This is from Malady. So I had her get him some jeans. And this is for Moses. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here is a little jacket for him. And it has a little lion face on it and this fuzzy fur which he can't really feel next to his face, but on the inside there's this fleece. So he'll be, he'll be snuggy, I think. And this was, okay, so this I got for Melody's birthday present because she's almost four. And, you know, I don't want it to be like, she doesn't get to have a cool birthday just because it's so close to Christmas. There. Here we go. So beautiful. It's like a little, um, gray dress with tulle under it, so she'll she'll be looking ballerina y. <laughs> okay, so that was box one. Um, let's see here. Oh, I also got some stuff for um. I got got some stuff from for Moses from H and M. He unfortunately he's a messy boy, and sometimes he needs more than sometimes even more than two changes of clothes throughout the day because he just he'll get so messy when he's eating um and okay this is not all practicality i just i have a thing for sweater vests <laughs> and h&m had the cutest little baby sweater vest so that's what this is and it's warm and it's cute so you know sorry okay this is also from H&M. They had a really good sale too. I can't remember if I got this a sale or not, but their prices are pretty good. Um, and these are some little jeans. They're a little big in the waist, but they have um, like adjusters. So my kids tend to be a little skinny in the waist and kind of fatter like in their legs. So sometimes that's a little mix. These are some onesies. Um, they're just neutral colored. I, I like colors. I like kind of obnoxious colors sometimes, but then you can't have everything be obnoxious or you'll look like a clown. So these are just like very like, you know, H&M. They're kind of like 
beige <laughs> and they're long sleeve which is nice I also got some really cute beige short sleeve ones from from Amazon but um, you know it's cold here and I want him to be warm but short sleeves are nice because then when you um, get dirty like babies and long sleeves oh man those sleeves get so dirty so I have to cut this open carefully this is another Bowdoin package and um, if I cut it correctly, if I don't like something, I can send it back. So I have to be careful how I cut it. And I am, yeah, I'm pretty picky. Like if I don't totally love something, I send it back. Okay, so this is probably for Moses because he needs some socks. He had some baby socks, but he grew out of them. And here's the thing I love about these socks. They're little animals. So here's a bear, the sock, sock box. Here is, Planes, so they're not all animals, okay. I was wrong. Um, here's a cow sock, oh, so cute. Here is stripes, okay, but those are still cute, even though they're stripes, they're cute. Here's a piggy, <laughs> and then green stripes, or green and, yeah, green and blue. And then, I think it's a chicken. Ah, so cute. Of course, we probably won't be seeing much of these because he'll have his pants over the top, but if, if I can still find those and it's summertime, I'm definitely sporting those. Okay, so, I mean, not me. He's, he's sporting them. <laughs> I'm sporting them vicariously. Um, okay, so I love sweaters. I love just layering things because sometimes when you wake, when you get up in the morning, it's cold, and then midday, it's warm, especially in the spring. So, I got him some sweaters. Here's a little sweater for Moses with some penguins on it. So cute. And here is, let's see here. This is a little sweatshirt for Moses. So, it's a little polka dot sweatshirt, which will get dirty, but it has polka dots on it, so... Hopefully you won't be able to tell what's dirty and what's full gas. And also a sweater for Moses because, like I said, we've, he's outgrown his clothes. And I just, I need lots of changes of clothes for him because he has to go through a lot of clothes during a day. Honestly, it's probably because, like, I don't feed him. Like, he does, well, I would feed, I, I would feed him if I could, but he does not want to be fed. He wants to feed himself, and if, I mean, he would, it's almost like he would rather starve than let you feed him, so of course I'm not going to let him starve, so we put the food, we cut it up real small so that he, he doesn't choke on it, and then we let him eat it, and sometimes, from, like, I don't even know how he, how he does it, because we have, like, a little bib on him, we have him all strapped in his car seat, in his, um, high chair, but somehow from head to toe, he manages to get, like, chili or whatever eating all over him, so... Here's that sweater. This is a good sweater for messy eaters because you can't really tell what's pattern and what's stain, right? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Here are some little pants for him. Now these don't have necessarily an adjustable waist, but they do have, this is one thing about Bowdoin. Oh, it has a legit drawstring. So you, like sometimes, I try to make crazy baby clothes will have this little like drawstring and it'll just be just for show. And I'm like, why is it just for show? Don't do that to me. Okay. And then this is uh, one more pair of pants for Moses. Some little, some little, once again, functional drawstring. And then of course I always, I do try and do laundry at least, I don't know, at least once a week, twice a week. So you know, pretty much that should be at least, I usually try and get, for every age, particularly in the little ages, I try and have like tin outfits that they can wear because there are the days when it's just they go through several at a time. We all oftentimes do have to do laundry midweek because if we have an extra messy week, that's not enough. Okay, so now we're probably getting into um, the clothes I got for my oldest son, because um, Moses is technically the gifter for my oldest son, who's 20. Um, and my oldest son just usually wants clothes. But, um, you know, he 
Francia. Oh, these are, okay, never mind. These are not for Josiah. What these are, I got these for my daughters, and they were on back order for, like, I don't know how many weeks. So they're, like, just bright green tights. I just love that. I think that's so cool. I love bright colors, and they're just tights, and they're, they're nice and warm. And then they have these, like, you don't usually see it because they're wearing shoes, but they have these cute little toes. And Anna and Chloe, even though they're eight and... 10, they almost look like twins because Anna's a little bit small for her age and Chloe's a little bit big for her age. And so they basically can share clothes or whatever. They like to have their own style though. So a lot of times they won't wear the same tights on the same day. They'll mix and match, but they usually all like the same clothes. Okay. So those, that was a surprise. Those were on back order forever and I thought I was never going to get them and I got them. There we go. Okay. So, oh, and of course I do buy presents for my husband. You gotta do that, right? So, some of this might be that. Okay, so this is, let's see, I can tell by the size. Okay, so large. That must be for my husband. So, I got him a t-shirt. Uh, this is from Bowdoin. Doesn't look like much, but he makes it look good. <laughs> So, okay, let's see, and this is for 34, 32, I think that's, that's my husband. So these are just some, some corduroy pants for him. So, hopefully they work, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> sometimes pants are like hard to, you know, sometimes you think they're gonna look great and then they don't look great. Or they don't fit great. You know, I'm just like, there's so many different body types in the world. And then, you know, with, when you're a big manufacturer, you try and just fit it all into one. So these are 32, 34. So these are Josiah. I think, I think he can pull off, he has red hairs. I think he can pull off purple pants. <laughs> or maroon. Are they maroon? I don't know. Something like that. Um, okay, so this is, who is this? 32, 34. This is, that's Josiah. So, yeah, I kind of went... I got him more stuff than I did for my husband just because Josiah needs more clothes. He's kind of harder on his clothes than my husband, so. I got this sticky stuff on me. Sticky stuff. These are some, just some gray kind of khaki-ish pants. So, so we can look snazzy at school. This is, I forget what this is. I think this is maybe from Mark. So this is a, yeah, size large. So that's from Mark. So this is just kind of a stripy shirt. And it has, it's like double thick. So, well, I guess it's not double thick, but it's it's kind of a really thick material because it's cold. <laughs> it's not as cold in New York City as it is in other parts of New York. So we're grateful for that. But it's still cold. It's definitely colder than the San Diego that we're used to. San Diego, at least, even in the winter, 60 degrees, even on a cold day, in the middle of the day. Not here. So this is, this is for Mark. This is a t-shirt for him. And then this is for Josiah. Once again, another t-shirt. White doesn't say white long, but you know, sometimes a, a white shirt is just, just so crisp and nice looking. You gotta go for it. And this is, oh, this is probably for Josiah because it's purple. I'm like letting Josiah be, be brave with his colors. He actually looks good in these colors. I don't know what it is. He has olive skin, dark, oh, dark brown eyes, not super dark, but you know, brown. And then red hair, which is just such an interesting, like kind of Euro, European look. Okay, so this is for Josiah. Oh, I love it so much. So it's kind of like hodgepodge. So it has like green at the body and then on the arms it has blue and then the sleeves it has this kind of cool like purpley color. So I don't know. I don't know if you'll like it. I'm, I'm gonna try and film Christmas morning. <laughs> you can see if he's like, oh, mom, what were you thinking? A lot of times they do just straight up tell me. They try to be nice at first, but eventually they'll be like, hmm, this is kind of lame, mom or wife or whoever it is that I'm giving something to. Okay, this is, okay, this is also Josiah. 
So there we go. Another t-shirt. T-shirts are boring until you need one and you can't find one in your drawer. <laughs> okay, so that's that stuff. Oh, and these are just some things I got on Amazon. They are things that remind me of my childhood and I just wanted them for the kids. This was one of the first books I ever read as a kid. I read it, um, I remember I was in second grade. No, I was in first grade. And I could read. And so what they did was they had me go to the kindergarten class and read. As a first grader, they had me read to the kindergartners. And I felt so special. And then the teacher that had me come, so she was a kindergarten teacher, she actually took this book cover and she traced it like with a projector or something and made a thank you card for me and all the kids like said thank you the best way they could and maybe scribble or whatever in the card and i have never seen another teacher do that where they have one kid come from another classroom and that may not even be something you could do but i just remember that and i remember it was this book and i remember i just felt like the specialist in the world so i'm gonna share that with the kids and then Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. These were pop books that were popular when I was a kid. I don't even really remember what they were about. I just remember they were fun. The other one I remember was It Could Be Worse. I ordered that one too, but that is on back order. So, I don't know. And this one, I loved this one. I didn't read this to anybody like in a class, but I just remember reading it. And I was an only child, so I would just stare at books for hours. And I remember just staring at this book. And the art was so fun. And I just... Like, I could read it because it was simple. I loved it. And this one is a modern book, but I got this for Moses. Good night, good night, construction site. Oh, that, I. it has like um, big like trucks and stuff in it. Stuff that boys like, I don't know. And then, okay, so this is the fun part. Um, I got toys too. <laughs> so the one thing I do do is, I do get family presents, so, and I'll, I'll admit my family presents do skew kind of young, so I do, do usually get, um, like, kind of kid, you know, like, little kid presents, but the big kids enjoy it, too. They enjoy, the big kids enjoy little kid stuff, too, and that's okay, so. I, I do usually buy some food items for the entire family, which, of course, that's skews. Everybody likes food. It doesn't matter how old you are. So, toys. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So, this is a giant. This is Meleg. This is a giant dinosaur from Meleg. And what I love about Meleg is the colors are not obnoxious. It's super, they age super well. Like, when they get old, they're still cute, you know? So, in the bottom, there's, like, this, um... These bean bags, or like it's like almost like a bean bag. So it's like these little like I don't know if it's beans or beads or what, but it adds the weight to the toy, and it's just oh, it's so cute. So this is Gantosaurus. That's from Melody to Enoch. So that those are the people that we help buy presents for. So there's a whole bunch of presents that got purchased that you're not seeing the kit that the kids bought for each other. So I think it might be snowing outside. Because you're gonna be so excited. I don't, I don't know if that's snow or rain, but it looks kind of like snow. I'll show you if it's, if it's snow. Okay, so this is what Enoch bought Melody. Once again, it has little, I don't know if you can hear it, like beans or beads in the bottom. And oh my goodness, she has another pig, so this can be a friend for the other pig she has. And look at that tail. Oh, that tail is so cute. Okay, I do live a little bit vicariously through my children. Okay. Now this, this is what Josiah bought for, I hear them all screaming. They're all going outside to see the snow. They're so excited. <laughs> okay, so this is what Josiah bought for Moses. So this is a troll. Is that not the cutest? Look at the little troll. <laughs> She's they're all yelling about the snow and it comes in this little bag so like the troll can go and hide in the bag and it's like perfectly so you can see its eyes through so it can like sneak through i don't know i thought it was darling josiah's like that's cool it looks like me it has red hair so that's what jo josiah our 20 year old bought for moses our um 15 month old almost 15 he's gonna be 15 months old tomorrow so he's 14 months old today 
and some change. And then this is a family present. So this is what I got for all of the kids. I got them. Um, so this is, so it's, it comes in a little, this is by Meleg. So these are some mice and it comes in a little cigar box, right? And then you open it. It's actually kind of cool because it has like a little magnetic opening. And then it has a little blanket and a, I think, okay, so there's a daddy and a mommy mouse. And the kids have a lot of the baby mice and stuff, but um, they didn't have like a family mom and dad mouse. So I'm gonna let them just be this. This We have a mouse house that they all like to play with. So that's gonna be for the family. Now this, it says, I don't know if, I, if it's filming backwards, grand old matches. So this is a grandma and grandpa mouse. And that goes in the mouse house too. So there's grandma, she's sleeping. <laughs> She has a little like wool skirt on and a little sweater and she's wearing glasses. And then up here is Grandpa Mouse and he has a little mustache and some corduroy pants and a little vest and a bow tie. Oh, he's cute, little gray hair there. <laughs> See, it's okay to go gray, I'm telling myself that. <laughs> Just not there yet mentally. So, so cute. Okay, and these are some other things I got for the kids. I forget what this is. This I got something, I don't know what this is. Is this, there's something in here? There's some, oh, oh, that's right, okay. <laughs> when you forget what you get. Okay, so this is a little cheese thing for the mice and it says cloche à fromage, cheese bell. And then underneath is a little bit of cheese. There you go. Um, so it's, yeah, so it's like, I think it's, let me see. So it says, it's like a little brie cheese and it has a little slice that you can take out of it. So the kids love playing with that stuff. And then you can just close it back up. So cute. Okay, and this is the last of my items. These are, so royal stuff. So this is a little chef mouse and he comes with a pot. I don't know if you can see that. He's dressed like a chef. I'm afraid to take it out of the box because I'm afraid it might not go back in. <laughs> Here's another um, Meleg Royal Staff. So this is a waiter and he has like a little tuxedo-esque thing on. How cute is that? And here's another Royal Staff. Okay, oh, so they have magnets in their hands so they can do things with their hands like hold things because it's like magnetic. Let's see if I can get her to Gonna come out there we go without actually taking her out so she's like a little waitress i think or a little maid or a little maid or waitress so cute so yeah i'm kind of torn i love like neutral colors but i also love like rainbow so you know what i'm gonna show you some snow so here it is and here are the kids they are all out there trying to catch the snow they're so excited in New York City, I just think it's warmer because we're, we've are we got water on either side of us. Um, and so I think that does help with the warmth. But yeah, so there's snow coming down, but it's not staying frozen long enough to be like piles of snow. But I'm sure that'll happen. It's supposed to get really cold today. I don't know if you can see the snow. Yeah, you can kind of, I can see it. I hope I can see, I hope you can see it in the... In the images, yeah, it's coming down harder. They're so excited, look at them. <sighs> We're from San Diego, so snow is like an event. I guess we'll have a somewhat white Christmas, whitish Christmas in New York City. <laughs> They're so happy. So one last thing I missed for Moses is this little bonnet. <laughs> so that will keep his head warm, probably put it along with the coat at the same time. Here is the Yodo Mini. And I don't know if you can see, but so what it is, I don't, I've never actually used it. I will give you a review after we use it. Um, so what you do is you, you, the kids can put cards in there and it will be the read you stories or there's like a classical music card pack that I ordered that has not come yet. I hope it comes soon. Um, and um, I don't know, it's just fun without like a screen. I want the kids to learn that there are fun 
there is fun without a screen. When I was a kid, um, I'm going to totally, uh, people that are not born in, like in the 80s or late, late 70s will not understand this, but we used to have these book on tapes. And it's like, you would listen to the, the story, you'd put it in the tape player, you could listen to the story and it'd say, turn the page where the chimes ring like this. Bring. And so I would have like Winnie Pooh and the Honey Pot, or I'd have these various stories and I would look at them and they, the, somebody would read the story, like the, the tape would read the story to me. And that for me, I spent hours doing that. And I think it helped me learn how to be a better reader. And so anyway, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, this sort of a thing, because they have books and everything on there, um, I'm hoping this will help and help it be something that's kind of like fun without a screen. Anyway, um, so I will give you a Yodo, a Yodo player review. The other thing we have that's screen free, this is like off topic, but um, is a light phone. My son Elijah just felt really bombarded with all the social media and so forth and he wanted a phone that didn't have all that stuff to distract him and so what he um, got was a light phone. I don't have it in here but a light phone is, is basically like it doesn't have the blue light screen it's almost like a Kindle but you can call you can text it gives you directions you can listen to podcasts you can listen to music but it does not have apps it does not have um, social media doesn't have any of that stuff and so you can you can have the functionality of a phone kind of like what you want in a phone without um wow it is really snowing out there <laughs> it's like blowing by you can have the functionality of a phone without all the stress of social media so i will give you a i'll have him give you a review of that um uh, when uh when i have a chance <laughs> Hi Mo, are you wearing your swimsuit? Hi Mo, are you so big? <laughs>